Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doom Charts Mystery Pick 3 where we take a deep dive into the most recent Doom Charts list. What is the Doom Charts you might ask? It is a worldwide group of fans, bloggers, journalists, DJs, podcasters, and album reviewers from around the globe who get together each month to discuss their most recent discoveries in the heavy music community. The results are compiled into a top 40. That becomes the Doom Charts. Of that top 40, 25 are given an album blurb, and that is what we're digging into in a mystery style right now. We're going to pick out our favorite, well, I shouldn't say favorite. We're going to pick out three of these and talk about those blurbs therein. So let's start off. What have we got first? What have we got first? I'll tell you what we've got first. We have got number nine. Number nine. Coming in at number nine, Mooch, Where It Goes, Stoner Rock, Heavy Sock, Blues, Montreal, Canada. Fan-fucking-tastic, groove-laden jams. I think the heavy eyes meets Fireball Ministry with sprinkling of the doors, a highly engaging and diverse array of fuzzy riffs drenched in sock and pulsing with swagger. Bucky Brown of the Ripple Effect. Way to go, Bucky. We know we can trust you, man. You've been around for a long time. Up next, we have got the mystery style coming at us. And that is going to be... Oh! Back-to-back -back number 10! Can we do a number 11 next? Let's see what we got. Coming in at number 10, La Chinga, Primal Forces, Stoner, Proto, Rock, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Ripple Music, there is not a more rock and roll band in the universe than La Chinga. Primal Forces, the fourth and maybe the best La Chinga album, is here to explain how rock should be done properly. And by properly, I mean with gigantic balls, booze, women, drugs, cowbell, and every other vice that makes heavy rock what it is. People, La Chinga is the modern day ACDC and you will all need to get on board before the party train leaves without you. This is an unabashed, no bullshit rock record that will be blasting from my turntable for a very, very long time. Rich Piva, Musipedia of Metal, Fuzz, Doom, Rip. That's right, you know you can trust Rich. He's hitting the charts all the time. Let's see what we've got next. See if we're going to pull that number 11 next. Wouldn't that be crazy if we pulled a 9, 10, 11? Let's see what happens. I think it's going to be that... Uh, that Morgan Wallen single that's really blowing up the charts. No, it's number two. Number two it is. Coming in at number two, Dope Lord Songs for Satan, Doom, Heavy Doom, Satanic Doom, Doomy Doom, Warsaw, Poland, Blues Funeral Recordings. Since the start of the year, post-wax album series have regularly trusted the tops of the charts. Whether the latest offerings from Dead Meadow, Dozer, or the Resin Venom Sabithi split, each new release delivers tons of pleasure except for our bank account. And the latest one is no exception. It's the new album by Polish band Dope Lord, Songs for Satan. For those who knew Dope Lord, we swim in familiar territory, and those who do not appreciate their previous albums were turned back from the first seconds of the Telluric Night of the Witch. But others will delight until the last drop of this end of the world doom, which, if it does not reinvent the game, magnifies it, glorifies it, and satanizes it, and sacrosanct fuzz god. <laughs> <laughs> With the recent reissues released by Electric Valley Records, Dope Lore is definitely the big winner of this year and became the band that has recovered the European Doom Master throne left vacant by the recent disappointing Mono Lord offering Simply Essential, Damien Reginald, Stoner Freaks Anthology. Damien, you got me tripped up, man, but that's okay because the psychedelics dig in and I love the Dope Lord. Great album and great pick. So that's it. We've gotten to the end of this edition. Be sure to tune in or jump back and watch the other editions. Don't forget to go over to doomcharts.com. Check out all the bands in the list. The Bandcamp links are provided. There is a Spotify playlist. Don't forget to check this out also on Spotify if you're into that. There's another version of this audio only where you can dig further into the songs. I will talk to you again with the next treats. Take care.